live from Austin, Texas, where all we play is retro game. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. I love retro game. Me too. I'm a big fan of retro game. And as a retro gamer, I can't wait to see what you have in store for us this week. Oh yeah, it's a good week for gaming. <laughs> you know, I love game. Also, <laughs> thank you, Devil Ray. 22 months in a row. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, we got we got a special show here tonight for you folks. <laughs> uh, you remember what happened last time we pulled out a Bizarro plug-and-play console. That was the old Urban Outfitters motion-activated gaming console. And wouldn't you know it, I think we've topped even that this week. <laughs> We have a miniature arcade unit by the name of Retro Game, and we are going to go down all of the games in the list, as many as we can get to in a two-hour time span. It's literally called Retro Game. We're not fucking around here. Yeah, yeah. It was built for us. It was made for us. It's like it, it mailed itself to our doorstop. And, uh, man, that package was messed up. I'm surprised this thing survived the mail. <laughs> really scrunched. So hello everyone. Hey. I hope you're ready for another bizarre evening of strange and wonderful video games. Uh, this week we asked our patrons what they wanted to see based on the losers bracket of plug and play consoles we previously featured. Did they want to see Retro Game or did they want to see C64 Mini? I love the scare quotes on Retro Game. I think that that uh, that's what put it over the top, yeah. It's like what the is this, is this like is this like retro game in the sense that like it's like meat or something like is this like <laughs> is retro game made of people or something? It's like those uh, frozen chicken wings that are spelled W I N G Z. <laughs> it's that kind of thing. Or like those really fatty chips that are called like Pringles Right Crisps. Mm -hmm. and you're like, Just oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Wh whatever that means, we won't tell you. Uh, sorry to all the C64 fans. We will have C64 games on here eventually. It's just man. That, that old computer system cannot catch a break with us. We'll find some way to slip it in at one point. Eventually. But we got business to get to, because what the people want to see is retro game. And boy, do I have a retro game for you. It's this. Look at this! Uh, you may recall <laughs> that in the past several months, uh, there's been a boutique kind of uh, manufacturing setup centered around these little arcade cabinets. There's got a, there's a one quarter replicas, one half replicas, three quarter replicas. This is one of the smaller ones. This is a tiny, tiny cabinet with a two to three inch LCD screen. And in it is a multi-cart straight from your nightmares. <laughs> now, let me point this out because I'm going to be the one suffering the most this stream. No, he is. He, he, uh, I, I see Revenant has already mentioned one of the worst things about this. So, so I bought it and uh first of all let me let me just uh put this out here this stream is entirely dedicated to our friend taizo hori yes. who first told me about this gave me a link to uh to buy the thing and then just gave me a whole bunch of documentation about all the games on here uh this is way more interesting than i anticipated there's a lot of lost bootleg game history in this if you can believe it actually playing it though is going to be painful because if you look at that control panel, you see a D-pad that has a little uh, joystick attached to it. Uh, the CDI controller had something similar. It had a little stick that you screw into the D-pad as an optional kind of thing. That thing is not optional on this. You cannot remove that stick. You have to use that tiny stick. The D-pad is just for show. It just makes it look good. It's awful. There's two buttons there, A and B. A is on the left, B is on the right. That is swapped <laughs> from how it usually is. But you know what? That's okay, because the system came with a controller, and I thought, oh, this comes with both a V-out and a controller, so they don't expect you to use this horrible little control interface. That's great. So I tested it out, found out the controller doesn't work for Player One. It's actually a Player Two controller. It's the one I get to use. So Player One always has to use the most awkward little joystick and reversed A and B buttons for all the games, and guess who's Player One? <laughs> Love you, Danny. Real yeah. quick, I uh, want to thank Battle Hork for the reset, 19 months in a row. They say Pepsi for retro games. Pepsi so. for retro game. Thank you. Thank you. And yes, yeah, some of these ROM hacks are super, super interesting. Codeman mentioned some of these haven't been dumped, and I'm sure there's a lot more to go over with Yes, it. Taizo briefed me on all that, and I will, uh, I'll go over that as mm -hmm. we go through this. Uh, I, real, oh, sorry. Please go on. I was going to say real quick before we get started, uh, some of these games do have random flashing. Um, it's really, like, we played a bunch of random stuff and it came up just sporadically, so if you got an issue with that, uh, 
Please be careful. Yeah, in fact, some of the games are broken. Like, if you try to launch their hack of Circus Charlie, it's going to just, like, flash colors at you. Yeah, yeah, so... Also, I'm a little bit further away from the microphone because I have to put this thing on a plank of wood in order to play it. I have to stabilize this somehow, so I just have this in my lap. He's got the wood plank in his lap. Alex gets to enjoy a normal-ass controller in the games that support Mm. two-player, but for me, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna have to take charge Poor for Danny. most of these. Should I should I show off the the, the title screen? Yeah, here? show off this title screen. So yeah, there's a lot to get into regarding history and where these games came from and why they don't often show up in multi carts. I'll get to that, but for now, I think we should just let this thing speak for itself. Give you a first impression of uh, picking up this thing for twenty bucks off AliExpress, which is possible. It's mm-hmm. totally twenty bucks on AliExpress. You can buy this if you like. Let's get some first impressions here. Well, we got a nice little undersea backdrop. I love it. This is actually really pretty. I uh, like it. A 256 in one. That's a nice beefy number of games. And we have eight games that I've never heard of in my life. Uh, what could these possibly be? <laughs> We're going to find out. Hair Sark. Turn things up on our end. There we go. You ready to do this, Alex? Yes. There's no turning back now. We have to do this. Grabbing the controller be with an incredibly... Be, yeah, Alex is tethered to my uh, mini cabinet with a very short cord. <laughs> so I can't play like a gamer go, woo, and move my arms around wildly like I'm in a commercial or something. Uh, one fun tidbit, the final 150 games in this cart have been previously hacked to remove the two-player mode, so you can't even play two-player in those. Cool. That was for other plug-in plays that were uh, one-player only. Let's get this started. All right. Enchanter mm. Q. Cool. Well, he looks all right. I like his beard. Looks like he's <laughs> straight from the set of the Flintstones. I don't know about his feet, though. His feet... Well, I, I shouldn't be talking about this guy's feet. Let's move on. No, yeah, let's let's play. All right. So what do you think this is going to be? I don't know. Will this be familiar to us? Is this an all-new game? It'll be a surprise. Whose persona is this? Mine. I decided to shift a new dim- dimension to weird purple globe guy. <laughs> Figured it was the right time. It's kind of twisted, Alex. Do I need to press start or something? There. Oh, this looks familiar. Alright, name the game. This is Snow Brothers! Oh, you got it! I was gonna let the folks name it, but... Sorry. You had to blurt it out. Yeah, so like many pirate multi-carts, a lot of these games are reskinned versions of existing NES games. What makes this really special is a lot of these games are really elaborate hacks, as you'll see soon. Won't reveal much more for now. Oh, we're not going through all 256 (laughs) games. Absolutely not. No, uh, Taizo advised us to get through the first 28 at least, because Mm -hmm. those are the most interesting. But starting here... There's a lot of changes! Yeah, some of the enemy sprites are the same, but others are different. And they redid the backgrounds, the character art... You now push around balls of... I, I can't even say what those are. Just like Cheeto dust? I don't know. Yeah, we're uh, we're, in, we're, in, uh, we're uh, covering people in uh, Cheetos cheese puffs. Mm, good. So this is a way to play Snow Brothers, I guess. This is kind of a hard game to come by on the NES. Uh, but it can be yours for $20 off of AliExpress. Enter code BOOTLEG for a 5% discount. <laughs> Honestly, I think AliExpress teaming up with us would be a very good sponsor. That would be, yeah. Get in touch, man. Saying if you want, if you want to. Can I can I talk to Ali? (laughs) Ali himself. Nope. Nope. Okay. okay. All right. I'm only going to briefly cover a lot of these games, and I think you've seen all you need to see from this. Yeah, we know Snow Brothers. And luckily, every time you push the reset button, the Elgato has to look for the video signal, so that gives us some time to reflect on what we've seen. Uh, Snow Brothers is cool. That's my thoughts. Let's play Super Fight. Uh, What's your favorite bullet, Alex? (laughs) I like Bullet C! Let's go with Bullet C. Fighter. Super Fighter. Okay. Let's do it. You think we're gonna have to kick each other's ass? This is looking like a Contra to me. 50 yeah. lives, wow. Is this a Contra? Oh, this is Super Contra, only they've, of course, redone all the backgrounds and character graphics. Look at this. You can barely t- You can barely tell this is Super Contra. 
Uh, they kept all the sound effects the same, but for a lot of games, they also redid the music, which is a hell of a thing. That's not often what you see on pirate multi-cards. Often they don't even bother. Like, half the time they can barely be asked to, like, erase the title screen. <laughs> oh, this is an original that? game. This is Super Mario Brothers. Super Mario Brothers 93. Oh, I can't get that. Am I wearing a cowboy hat? I think I am. Look at that. Oh, you both are. We're cowboys. Okay. I want to be a cowboy, baby. It's Contra with cowboys. Cowtra. <laughs> I am so sorry. No, that's Wild West Cowboys of Mumesa. Oh, I can't forget. How can I? <laughs> An Anthrocon week of all weeks. So this is pretty nice. You get 50 lives. You get a choice of weapon at the beginning. Uh, unfortunately, Alex favorites, Alex's favorite weapon is the laser, which sucks. You and your bullet D. I well, like how these turrets are even, like, redone. They have monster faces on them. <laughs> just want to say, I'm very good at dying here. Oh, me too. Well, that's that's because you you have the world's worst controller. Uh -huh. I have a normal controller, and I'm still dying more than you, so shout out to Danny for being good at games. So I want to get to the first boss to see just how much they changed. Uh, the first boss is a gigantic helicopter that comes in from the right side of the screen. Mm -hmm. I want to see if they actually changed it or they just le left it the same. Nope, looks the same to me. No, wait, it's a little bit different. Yeah, I think they changed it a little bit. It says USA on it now, so it's official. So, like, what, we're destroying the USA? Oh, I didn't think about it that way. Uh... FBI don't watch. Yeah, FBI don't watch. Don't watch Monday's stream, either. Happy 4th of July! <laughs> That's right, this is 4th of July Eve, also known as July 3rd. Sorry, I just see his John... I just see someone mentioning John Denver, so thanks. <laughs> you think John Denver likes this? Let's ask him. Ah. I think he's busy with the Muppets. Overlord. Now this is an actual NES game, but it's terrible and no one knows what it is. So I'm willing to bet this is not the Overlord that we know. It's the Boxing Circles Overlord. Alright. Anyone want to guess what this game is? Shout it out if you know it. Hmm, this is looking a little bit more familiar. National Heroes, Pika and Miro! <laughs> uh, chat saying Double Dragon, Double Dragon Punch yep, Out. Yep, Double right Dragon 2, this is it. Pitiful Ultim John. Pitiful John was in an abyss of suffering, Ooh. same. I was gonna say, log off, dude. Oh, John! Your face! John! <laughs> John, you're some kind of goblin. Right. I don't like that face. It looks like a, a ninja turtle with human flesh. Alright, we're going to Australia, baby. Oh, hold up. Is this is this Double Dragon 3? Yes, it is. This is Double Dragon 3. At first I thought it was 2. Uh, yeah, 3 is the one no one likes, because it sucks. But, man, there's some dialogue in this. A sufferer. I will die. You must beware. You set your heart at rest. See, what fascinates me about these games is that not only are they really elaborate hacks, but they've also redone all the dialogue. Uh, even for Japanese games that weren't originally in English, they made up their own English dialogue for a lot of these. You a fan of Double Dragon 3, Alex? I don't know. You know, that game starring Pika and G. Miro. There's a lot of flicker in this game. This, this control panel is not good. I was gonna say that the, Danny is struggling. Shout out to Danny. I should have glued it to this piece of board. It's still very unstable. I'm gonna try and at least get to the next screen. But yeah, imag imagine other pirate hacks. All they would do is erase the technos on the title screen and call it a day. Here they renamed the characters, they gave it an entirely new story. <laughs> they added something about a guy suffering in an abyss of depression or something. I also like that they translated the uh, no weapon meter at the bottom of the screen to just say handless. I mean, I do have my hands, but I get what they're saying. I think the word they were looking for was unarmed. 
Well, I mean, an armed handless. Who can who can tell the difference? That's true. That's true. Stop that. All right. So I'm gonna spill the beans a little bit on what this actually is. So. A lot of pirate multi-carts and these little standalone arcade cabinets are just based on NES on a clone chip hardware that includes either off-the-shelf multi-carts or multi-carts pieced together using bits of other multi-carts. Uh, so the more of these they make, they just keep getting remixed into themselves and you keep seeing the same bashes of games over and over again. And this one company, whose name I'll look up in a second, made a whole bunch of uh, hacks of, like, Mapper Zero games. You know, really simple shit. Binary Land, uh, Mario 1, stuff like that. Those are games that are commonly on multi-carts. However, at some point in the early 2000s, this creator also made much more elaborate hacks of games like this one. Uh, there's a selection of, uh, I think, a couple dozen games like this. However, these games appeared on multi-carts for like a year, and then they were lost forever, never to resurface again. Occasionally you'd see other multi-carts with like a couple games from that batch of games, but never the full batch of 28. This thing has all 28 of them, some of, them, some of which have not been seen in decades, uh, a lot of which are also undumped, so hopefully there's some way to dump this thing. Uh, Codeman mentions the manufacturer is Inventor. It is, yes. In fact, let me bring up... Uh, Taizo, what he sent me here. Cool. Alright, I'll just say this verbatim for uh, for clarity's sake. Uh, generic Famiclone handhelds. This is, um, this is by a manufacturer called YLW Technology. Uh, games 1 through 28 are all ROM hacks, made in the 2000s by a company called Adventure, headed by someone known as Teacher Sao, who was a prominent figure in the Chinese game industry around the time. Inventor developed a few original games, but mostly, yeah, like I said, they just hacked existing games. Some more elaborately than others. And, yeah, the, the main goal here was these games to look original enough so you could sell them in territories that were, like, kind of sensitive to piracy. See, you know, maybe you couldn't sell Pirated Double Dragon 3, but maybe people will go for Overlord, Boxing Legend. I mean, I would. Let's play Berserk. What is... Get, oh shit, get ready. Get ready. Oh, hey, Ben Presto did this one. Wow. Look at that guy! Who is he? Is this an SD Gundam game or something? Who are any of these angels? This is probably some sort of Gundam or Kamen Rider game. If anyone knows for sure, let me know. Well, we're getting... We're getting sucked off to heaven. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> I just read Jesus, I'm sorry. Come on, boy. Go. Yeah, this is definitely some kind of Ban Presto bullshit. I don't think this is two-player, so you can relax for this one. Okay, cool. I'm gonna be Bob 3. He's lucky. Oh, Bob can fly! Chat saying, is this Ultraman? Is this, uh... This might be Ultraman. Yeah, I'm not familiar with this game. Uh, it's definitely an existing Famicom game, though. Okay, it's an Ultraman clone S. It's Ultraman clone SD. Thank you, uh, the Ultraman. Nice, thank you. Yeah, some of these games, it's kind of hard to tell if you're not already familiar with what it is. Uh, often it's a dead giveaway, like they'll reuse graphics or sound effects that are familiar. But sometimes they pick obscure enough games or change the graphics just enough where it's kind of hard to tell what it is. I love Mary. Oh, now your robe. I should also note. This game was originally in Japanese, I assume. So this is an English translation. Kinda. Kinda. Lucky Bob Go. I mean... That's the story. He sure does. He does, he does go. Lucky Bob number three. So BMF mentions one of those sprites is Willy DeWitt uh, from Bucky O'Han. Oh wow, so they're just picking out sprites from other games too, yeah. So it doesn't necessarily have to be original, it just has to be unrecognizable from its original form. And that's how you get to sell it at the kiosk at the mall. Anyone who still has malls, can you report if you have a Famiclone kiosk? Yeah, do they- That, okay. that used to be a thing as of uh, circa 10 years ago, I'm not so sure if that's still the case. Well, the domain, I can tell you here in Austin, there, at least as much as I have explored the domain, there are no bootleg consoles for sale, which I think is a damn shame. That is a shame. You know, if they had an Urban Outfitters there, though, they would have some bootleg consoles, but yeah. 
This game seems okay. I wonder if this has been fan translated. It's also a platformer. With a lot of spikes. <laughs> yep, uh, just dropped see. me right on the spikes. Thanks, Ben Presto. <laughs> Uh, we got two reports of Kyoku Sengai and, uh, Kyo sorry, Kyoku Sagani and Sneaker Nuts mentioned they both have malls. And, uh, they got one with, pa they even have mall with Power Joy 3. This, uh, Sneaker has a mall with a fucking fidget spinner still. God bless. That's amazing. Long Island still got some. God bless Fidget spinner Island. kiosk. The new, the new pirate multi-card. Trace bullet, okay. So we've got multiple reports, thank God. Thank okay. You. The dream is still alive. Maybe, well, Paul maybe. Blart, no, 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 Paul Blart Mall sells these. The mall where Paul Blart is sells these. Whoa. Uh, sells NES bootlegs, I I'm going to go there and tell Paul Blart. <laughs> tell him to shut him down. Firebolt. <laughs> shout out to everyone who gets to go to the oh, that's Paul a, Blart Mall. That was a Natsume logo just there. Which Natsume game are they ripping off here? Not though. Whoa, I wish I could have turned that off. Oh, I know what this is. But does anyone else? Oh, I know what this is, but I forgot the name. <laughs> it's quite a name. Uh, it's a name you'll never forget unless you're Alex. In Europe, it's called Action in New York. <laughs> oh, However, as several Jack. people have guessed, yes, this is SCAT. Special Cybernetic Attack Team. Yeah, Natsume released this in the States, and once again, this is kind of a rare game that they just threw on here with updated graphics. Uh, updated. <laughs> they definitely look better. So I guess you can look at this th this as, like, a bargain. Like, if you don't want to collect the original cartridges, hell, saves you $100 on SCAT. Please don't clip that out of context. I saved a hundred dollars on scat. <laughs> you're making it worse. Yeah, I know. Anyway, this game's all right. You should play it if you're not familiar. It's kind of like Burai Fighter, but better. It's better fighter. Did I die? I died. I'm also really charmed by all the music in these games. Like it's completely different, but it's never any good. They just made it different. There you go. There's your scat. Ah, oh, please, angels. I'll I'll stop. <laughs> I was gonna say, please don't make me have to moderate chat. <laughs> no, elf, chat's fine. Elf Legend. Now, we asked about this before the stream. Alex's favorite elf legend is Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. uh, my favorite elf legend is The Legend of Zelda. That's a good elf legend. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Okay, so someone de uh, messaged us earlier on Twitter saying that that's like Charmander versus a Teletubby there, and I see that. But what I wanted to say is, it looks like first of all, Charmander is wearing like a Charmander. Yeah, that's an costume. outfit. Yeah. That's just a Charmander fursuit. Do you think the Teletubby's in Teletubby fursuit too? What does that say on the Teletubby's stomach? F A. It looks like oh, they're abs. It says F K. <laughs> Whoa! All right. In doing the it. Teletubby. <laughs> <laughs> Two player. So. Who can guess what this game is? It's a pretty good conversion. A lot of the sprites are different. These are characters you would probably get in a lot of trouble for using. Oh, I think they know. Yep, Chippendale 2. Got it in one. Ultimo's on top of this shit. <laughs> Excuse me! Oh, oh, mission. Okay. Uh, yeah, just, yeah, uh... Wow. Well, that's that's the screen grab of the stream right there. You can stop watching now. <laughs> it's not going to get better than that. Okay, good. Okay, good. I guess so. Oof. Is that a Gretzko? <laughs> 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 How are you? Can you help me? Certainly. Thank you. I hate being helped at the wrong place. Everyone's just gonna greet each other. Okay, I start off first. Goodbye. Is that a uh, Monty? Monterey Jack? <laughs> I, I guess. Oh, that's just Zipper. <laughs> they didn't change him. Oh, they just call Zipper B here. How dare you? He, he's B. B. Oh my god, what they do to you? Uh, <laughs> my dear Pika, how are you? Is that Gadget? 
I am well. They're gonna act as my helper. Wow. It's so normal except for the very first sentence. I guess that is Sans. <laughs> cock say goodbye. I wish you have good luck. Thanks. You know what? Same to you, Cock. Thanks, Cock. So yeah, this is Rescue Rangers 2, and if you're familiar with Rescue Rangers 2, oh. this first level takes place in a diner. Uh, this thing right here is supposed to be a gigantic hamburger, instead of now it's some kind of bucket. But otherwise, it's just Rescue Rangers. You pick up boxes and you throw them at people. Uh, it's Rescue Rangers 2, so it has a lot of slowdown and it's not very fun. Well, I died, so... Oh, I'm back. Hang on. There we go. Thanks. I can carry you through this. Alright. Danny's gonna literally carry me through the game. Mm hmm There you go. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> this is not a world record speed run. <laughs> Jesus, Alex! So yeah, one way to get Disney off your back is to just swap out all the Disney characters, except Zipper, who they don't care about, I suppose. Right, whatever, he's just B. Uh, thank you, Real Soviet Bear, they've been subscribed two years in a row. Thank you. Nice, thank you. Enjoy your exploding head uh, sub badge. Sorry if I miss any notifications. Both me and Alex are kind of occupied with a lot of these games. <laughs> so Rescue Rangers 2, it ain't bad. Uh, this version looks really weird. I'm just impressed that they changed so much of the graphics, you know? I think they did the music, too. Let's see if we can get to a boss. Okay. I'm gonna try not to die. <laughs> Good luck. Mysteriously, the recently released Disney Afternoon Collection does not include this version of the game, so it's not complete. Mm. Yeah, stand on this. Zipper's trying to drown us. Can't kill me today, Zipper! <laughs> Monterey! Thank you. What even are you? Oh boy. I do want to prevent your step. Yes, you must vanquish. You me must merely. vanquish me merely! Whether you can accept my idea? <laughs> can you tell me how to win you? How would you go about vanquishing yourself? <laughs> <laughs> that is impossible. I just like that the 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 Teletubby is named John. I do love that. I'm just John, you know. My name's John Teletubby. All right, this is the first boss battle. Is this different from Rescue Rangers? I I haven't played much of Rescue Rangers too. But I'm gonna assume that this character looks different. Uh, they have a skull for a head. That's pretty freaky. And they have a body of what looks like a mongoose. Okay, so do we need to throw things at it? Yeah, probably. I don't think we're gonna beat this guy. <laughs> I, I don't think so either. What an intro, though. We were introduced to our friend Cock, who was going to send us on a hard mission. Doesn't get any better than this, folks. This is the life. Oh, nice. Hey. We're taking damage to save time. Mm -hmm. And I handed you that box. Thank you, I appreciate cool. it. Oh my god, John and Pika. John and Pika! John the Teletubby and Pika the Charmander. Okay. Good. Oh, a bonus stage. Oh shoot, I should probably pay attention. I'm just gonna keep going until the next uh, screen, in case they have more dialogue. Oh, it looks like they do. Hi, how are you? Oh, oh. I see Joan coming to here. But I guess that's Gadget. Hello! You are well! You oh, are toils. toilsome! <laughs> we sure are. Everyone's just saying hello to each other and saying, you look well. It's so pleasant. 
Yes, let's go on. Oh yeah, let's. I agree, we are friends. Okay. Below two colors, you select which? Green. Really? Uh, no. <laughs> Made me doubt myself. I'll go with red. Well, yeah, I guess. Yeah, red. Notice! Notice. Okay. Oh, we were defusing a bomb. That kind of got lost in the dialogue. <laughs> you see, it still exists. Too wizardly! Too wizardly! <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna say that all the time on stream now. Wow, that's wizardly. That is real wizardly. Did Yoda translate this? I mean... I love this dance. This is history here. This shit hasn't been seen in decades. For good reason. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah. Oh, this is this is a treasure. I love discovering old bootleg games I've never played or heard of before. <laughs> Defire. Well, we have Zangief and his friend, uh, someone from an SNK game, it looks like. Love it. Oh no, this is Street Fighter 2. Okay, so we've got... This is a hacked Street Fighter 2. That guy looks like a furry. Yeah. That guy has a shell on his head. That's just straight That's up a That's just furry. a cat man. That's an SNK. That's an anime. Then these are the same characters. Okay. okay I'm going to be the cat man. I'm going to be the uh, the really cheap fursuit guy. Yeah, E Honda is, is a panda. <laughs> and yeah, this is the game with Haha, ha, very easy congregation. This is, uh, what, Kony, I think? Or is it Yoko? One of those companies made a bootleg Street Fighter 2 and then everyone else ripped it off. And oh man! I am truly a cat man. E Honda, you got a you got a body hair issue there, man. What am I? You gotta shave that fursuit. Uh, honey, uh, that honey. fursuit's made out of '70s shag carpeting. I just want to say this controls like hot shit. It does. It controls real bad. This is bad. Oh, I'm Guile. You can tell because the the crouching pose. So I should be. And Honda, you can tell because I look like a skinless panda. That's horrible. I mean, okay. So, so if you're familiar with these bootleg Street Fighter games, you'll know that they have special moves, but they hardly ever work. Uh, these games are very poor. But at least this one has furries in it, so that's something. Oh, you got a you got a special move off. Yeah, but I still died. Hey, Honda, close your legs. I don't like the look of that. <laughs> He's wretched. This is pink panda man. I swear to god, I pushed left and he moved right. <laughs> no, I'm having that issue too. It's not really working. <laughs> That's not even the fault of the controller. It's just this terrible game. Alright, we gotta win so so I can see if it still says haha, very easy congregation. Alright, well, try kicking my ass. Just try it. I'm trying. You're, you're doing a really good job. Help. See, my favorite NES brawler is Mortal Kombat 4 Special 56 People's Edition. This is not as good. Yep, there it is. Thank he's good. Victor! Oh, oh, wait, no, Victor because he's victorious. Good Never job, mind. Victor. Oh, huh. man. Well, of course they had to have Street Fighter in there. That's just a prerequisite. But let's move on. Let's move. X War. Is this gonna be like Star Wars? Uh, I'm thinking it's like X Men. Mm. So X Men Star Wars. It began in 2001. Well, it's got to begin sometime. The X War. All right, I can tell. Look <laughs> at the Sammy logo. They just that Sammy logo is uh, is in the witness protection program. <laughs> I was gonna say it looked like they just put a black bar over it. <laughs> yep, Silkworm. This is definitely Silkworm. We played this a while back for some reason. I don't really remember why. Robert, Stacy, go do your jobs. Roger. So this is a Sammy game, a port of an arcade game, where one player is a jeep and the other is a helicopter. Only in this game I'm a spaceship and you're some kind of hover vehicle? I'm a good tank. Yeah. Beep beep, I'm a jeep. Okay, well, they redid all the graphics, they redid the background. 
Uh, yeah. they, they may have redone the intro, but I'm not really sure. In any case, this is definitely not Silkworm. And it's totally not by American Sammy. Don't you even think about it. It's by a Canadian Samuel. Happy Canada Day! Happy Canada Day! Oh man, shooters are not good on this thing. Beep, beep, rip that jeep. Oh, That's... I guess I was a moon buggy. Mm. Yeah, kinda. Kinda I like guess. the thing from Moon Patrol. Now see, to, to the casuals, they probably wouldn't realize that these are hacks, but us experienced gamers, we know. We know better. You can't fool the gamers. Power to the gamers. Fuck. <laughs> Power to the gamers, indeed. <laughs> and that's what makes this kind of fun, because they hacked it just enough where the average layperson wouldn't be able to tell. It's only after playing a few seconds. So, so here's boy sport. <laughs> It's called Boy Sport! Welcome, boys. Boy Sport, welcome, boys! Do I need to bring Rollo up? Maybe. Okay. Hmm. So this music is sounding kind of Technos ish. I'm in. It's definitely a Kunio game. Let's see which. Boy Sport! The boys. Yes, Uzi, the boys are back in town. I'm Bob. Uh, I guess I'm... Okay, there we go. Oh, this is the, uh, the track and field Kunio game. Oh, they translated the background signs. There's one of them that said Boy Sport. Yeah, so this is a four-player River City Ransom style game, only it's focused more on... How running... do I go fast? I think you just double tap. It's focused on getting to the end of, it, of an obstacle course before all your asshole teammates can. Yay, yeah, shit, Quinn. <laughs> this is in someone's house! Yeah, this was from the original game. So th they redid some of it, but not nearly enough. There's still enough Kunio in this to recognize it. Now, a lot of games, they hacked entire levels, even multiple levels. Some games, they just hacked the first couple screens and then said, you know what, good enough. No one knows what this game is anyway. Danny, this is hilarious! I've never seen- I've never played this before. Yeah, this game's kind of great. We should show this off on stream sometime. Like, uh, maybe we have a Kunio stream. I believe they also remade this for modern systems. I know the PS3, maybe also the PS4. <laughs> We're the worst. Okay. You gotta hit both buttons to jump. Are you kidding me? Yeah, it's- it's Kunio tradition. Fair enough. I'm not running that tire you threw. Damn it! Oh yeah, you hear about the new River City Ransom game? Yeah, it's for girls now. Finally! Now it actually, it actually, the animation in the intro is really nice. I'm looking forward to that. It does look pretty good. I'll give it a chance. Wait, wait. Dude, dude! <laughs> Let go of that! No, you're gonna take the bomb with you, all right! Left in the dust. Yeah, exactly, girl sport. Welcome, girls. Welcome, girls. See, that makes sense, because all this time it's been about Kunio and the boys. It wasn't crashing the girls' street challenge, it was crashing the boys. Well, it's crashing the girls now. Yeah. That's right, boys can't play video games anymore, it's official. Honestly? <laughs> they outlawed him. Honestly, would you blame people? Alright, clearly you boys can't handle playing video games, Please. so they're for girls now. Mm-hmm. Video games. Only girls. Oh, I wish I could punch you. <laughs> yes, and then uh, don't forget about uh, Envy Games Welcome Sport. <laughs> Welcome folks, I should say. Welcome folks, yeah. <laughs> ah, we're doing it, we're doing it. There we go, there we go. Glad we're swimming in the sewer. It was a hell of a track and field. <laughs> I also like that they gave us, like, long white hair. <laughs> so instead of the Cuneo brothers, we're playing, like, uh, Johnny and Edgar Winter, I guess. <laughs> We're like, uh, we're like Sephiroth or something. But oh yeah, we're Sephiroth. Funnier. Okay. No, we can be Sephiroth. Boy sport. Third place! Third place! Or maybe like that one guy from the Venture Brothers. That works too. Mm-hmm. That works. Alright. That's our audience. 
They're cheering us on. Sephiroth track and field. <laughs> Sephiroth would kick ass at track and field. Oh my god! If you had a, if you had that kind of like, doesn't he have like a, a cool sword? Yeah. Of course. If you had a cool sword, you would win every sport. I'm sorry. Hey, 420. Nice, uh, Korea. Good job, Korea. And 70 in Japan, 30 in China. Well, we tried. Well, that was all right. Pretty cool. It's nice to have that game on here. And with that, we finished off the first page of games. Uh, I've already had my mind blown several times. Oh, wait, we already finished off the first page. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's racing car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, She's I'm waiting. waiting. She's waiting. Racing car. Push oh, that start. Car's cool. Push start. Press start. Um. Okay. So this looks like a European game, judging by the iconography. I like the way this looks. Okay, Danny named himself uh, Ass Man here. I'm the Ass Man. Well, I mean, it's true. Welcome, Welcome. Ass Man. Thanks, it's good to be here. My name for you. is, uh... Yeah, Billy Gunn, I'm the ass man. <laughs> Are those letters? Yeah, my name is just cool. It, it looked like a U with an umlaut, so it's cool. Still trying to figure out what the hell game this is. Boston, New York, New York the, cr the classic drag race. There I am. I'm actually not familiar with this game. Yeah, what is this game? Oh my god, Alex. Do you know what this is? No. This is Dragster for the 2600. Let's set that world record. How do we do that? I don't know. Okay, first you have to shift up. We're both in neutral. Okay. Okay, Alex has figured out how to go. Uh, I'm still at the starting blocks. What's the... What's the button? Oh, I see. I got you. What's the button? I don't know. Well. Okay, I'm at the bottom of the screen. I get the tiny screen for some reason. I keep trying to shift. I did it before. Yeah, me too. I'm just gonna jam on every single button until I can shift. Everyone's passing me by as I go by at 32 miles per hour. Uh, Boogaloo tells us this is Race America by our favorite company, Imagineering. Yeah, I haven't really played through all of Imagineering's catalog for some reason, so... Good looking out. This felt like a U.S. release game. I'm just gonna get in people's way. Just a leisurely 32 miles per hour. Oh. You... I shifted and then I shifted back. What'd you do? You did it! You did it! Up and B? Maybe? Yeah, it's up and B. Why are there three different styles of gameplay here, and it switches in between them at random? God damn it, Imagineering. I still can't shift. You shouldn't have told me that. It is definitely up and B. I can't... <laughs> well, I got caught by my hubris. Oh, here we go. I somehow got in fourth gear. the buttons until I get a shift. Wow. This blows. Okay. Okay. I'm doing good. I tell you what, it's no scat. Nothing is scat. Huh? What? Oh no, I shifted all the way back to one. No! <laughs> Ass man runs out of gas and loses leg one of the Embrace America rally. I'd like to see that as the big headline at the front of the newspaper. Ass man runs out of gas. See, if they had headlines like that, then print media wouldn't be dead. Ass man says, ass gas or grass. <laughs> Nobody plays for free. Wow, well, well, thanks for that retro game. Please don't pick any more Imagineering games. I hope to God they didn't reskin Bart vs. the Sca Space Mutants. I, I hope they did. I'm, I'm going to go against you, and I'm going to say I really hope they did. That game made me nice and angry, so I'm ready to play some mad football. Okay. All right, this baby just punched us in the face. That's a Teletubby? That's a Teletubby Kunio-kun. All right. Well, he has a lot to say, but none of it's coming out. K. 
can't hear you, Teletubby. Teletubby. Mad Bye. football. The world club of soccer league. So, which Kunio soccer game is this? The first one or the second one? Uh... I don't know. Like boat. Cool boat. I think I picked one player. That's fine. Okay, this is the second soccer game, I'm pretty sure. They're all Teletubbies! So they're all Teletubbies. I question why that's even necessary, but, I mean... Oh, that was a good kick. You know, we need something to sell this retro game to the, the common folk. What are the folk like? Teletubbies? Can't go wrong with Teletubbies. True. They just remain consistently popular year upon year. They got those flash in the pan kids show cartoons. They got the Barney. They got your Disney's gargoyles. <laughs> None of them can compare to the ongoing popularity of the Teletubbies. You weren't wrong, the Teletubbies were fucking huge. They were, yeah. And they were big across multiple regions, which I guess is why they, they chose them. Okay, this is Kunio, just to specify here. Kunio Kun uh, no Niketsu Soccer League from 1993. Okay, so yeah, that is the sequel to the game we got here in the States as Nintendo World Cup. Nintendo actually licensed the first one and released it themselves, and stripped out all the Kunio Kun uh, stuff. This game adds weather conditions, like you can play in thunderstorms. Oh, sweet. I kick ass at this game, and I've never really played it. really good, yeah. Yeah, this is like the Kunio multi-cart. Okay, this is too good. Let's play something bad. That didn't make me mad football, that just made me... I was okay with that football. Normal football. Yeah, goal three. Aries. That guy's always mad, so... <laughs> Do you have guts? Wow, we fucking died. Yep, this is Captain America and the Avengers. Uh, you'd never know it <laughs> from what you see here. Oh wow, this is a really elaborate hack. Yeah, that's supposed to be Captain America and instead it's just some, some kid. Uh, two-player two player duel is just like a single-screen fighting game, so I'll let Alex right. sit this one out. Get to enjoy that intro again. Oh. Is that the Infinity Gauntlet? <laughs> it looks like it, right? Like... <laughs> is this Endgame? This is part of the MCU, yes. So uh, Disney's gonna pull copyright on this any time here. Ah. Oh no, not Charleston! Aquaman, one part Daydream and Davy, and yeah. one part Captain America. He does. There's a real Daydream and Davy energy about this game. Yeah, this dialogue looks to be the same. Thanks, Wasp. That's cheeks. There's a fully accurate map of America. And yeah, this is the kind of weird Captain America and the Avengers game they released for NES. Uh, for some reason, you spend a lot of time hitting these capsules that are floating in midair. They give you power-ups and stuff. Except unlike in Ninja Gaiden, you can just keep hitting them, and I never know when to stop. Danny just can't stop punching. Yeah, if you tell me to punch something and then give me no indication that it's been punched, I'm gonna keep punching. Good old Captain America. Wait, what was that on his shield? It's got, like, a lion face on a it. kitty! I think Captain America's shield would be way cooler if it had a kitty face on it. Let's all be honest, yes. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's not mess around anymore. Disney? If Captain America got his shield from AliExpress, it would look like that. Bob Iger, can I call you Bobby? Sure. If, if you're listening, Bobby, uh, we got a great idea for you. Absolute, just amazing idea for the next MCU movie. My hands are already cramping. <laughs> oh no. I can I can deal. I'm strong. Would you like to switch places? I wouldn't wish that on the worst my worst enemy. Oh. I'm good. I was gonna say that is true love. That is true love.
You're right. But see, it makes sense that, like, see, he was given his shield. The, I know that there's a version of Captain America that has a vibranium sh vibranium shield from, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Black Panther. And that one should have a kitty on it. I'm just saying. Yeah. All right, we going to Tampa or New Orleans? Let's go to New Orleans. Yeah. Give me some, uh... Let's cross that Mississippi R. <laughs> Give me some gumbo. Okay. Oh, man, it's Hawkeye. Oh, Hawkeye looks like a dipshit. I'm Looking a little bit like uh, Ermac from Mortal Kombat. He's also got the Daredevil shield on him. When you walk, he just, his neck shrinks. He, sh he, he loses his neck when he walks, yeah. That's amazing. Hawkeye has mysterious abilities. Oh, this game is not so bad. Oh, I like this move. Look at this. Oh, nice. Unlimited points. I beat the game. <laughs> World record incoming. Oh, you can't do it forever. Oh, no. Oh, screw it. That's a game we have to cover on Mascot Friday at some point. It's alright. Uh, hmm. But next up we have... Bo Bolide? Bolide? Bolide. Bolide. <laughs> okay. <laughs> alright, you're just fucking with me now. The story tell you how to vindicate dignity of nation and integrity of domain, Biker was such a hero. <laughs> yep, this is Guevara, aka Gorilla War. A lot of people on top of their shit in chat, I appreciate that. Yeah, thank you. Alright, let's let's play some Bolide. Alright. I'm uh, Fidel Castro and you're Che Guevara in the original game's fiction. I think we still are, but we're just like the bootleg versions of them. Yeah, pretty much. We're liberating, uh, this is Duba. The this is the story of how they liberated Duba, yeah. Yeah, this is an SNK overhead view action game, similar to Ikari Warriors, but way, way better. Uh, play this on NES. Don't play the Ikari Warriors games. Oh, those those red things are the hostages. You have to save them. They just look like... They look like uvulas. I thought they look like either tongues or fire. I was afraid to touch them. Or butts. Ugh. Dreaded. Get in that tank. Where am I? Did I already die? I think, I think so. you did. Sorry, Fidel. So yeah, this game's very fast-paced. It's very uh, playable. I think it's in the recently released SNK 40th Anniversary Collection, where they also have the original arcade version. This is one of the rare cases where I actually think the NES port is better than the arcade. This is an iron tank. God damn, look at you go! Oh yeah, once you get the tank, you can fuck stuff up. Ah, uh, Duba's nice this kind this time of year. <laughs> they're purple streets. They're exploding tanks. <laughs> oh, we're still Guevara and Castro, and we're both oh, I'm dead. I'm so happy! <laughs> Rip us. Let's play a little bit more. Okay. Am I still here? Just, man, I'm still reeling over that intro. Did it not continue you? No, just that you. That sucks. Alright. <laughs> that drawing at the intro. That was supposed to be... That was supposed to be Che Guevara. Looking good, Che. He shaved his head, became an anime biker. Caesar Captain. So it's by Entertainment Software. Oh, this looks British. This looks British to me. What game is this? I... Eurocom. Holy shit. I'm BMF kidding. with the early answer. James Bond Jr. Oh my god. His name is James! James Bond Jr. Bam, 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 bam. Wait a minute. Missile Silo's on a Caribbean island. The scum Is this the Bay of Pigs? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a dipshit! Sorry, James! James, we have completely different art styles. What game are you from, James? I'm sorry, he looks like the little boy from... Yeah, that was the guy from Codename Viper. Yeah, I oh, thought I yeah. recognized him. The, uh, the, the guy handing out the mission. James looks like Gen from Barefoot Gen. <laughs> That's really depressing. Yeah, let's do a Barefoot Gen ROM hack. No! That'll go over great. Ah, uh, no! Next up, we have a game called Grave of the Fireflies. All right, here we go. James okay. bails out. Oh, 
And yeah, this music. It uses the, the the distinctly British arpeggio approach to music, and yet they just kind of fucked with it. What the fuck is this? <laughs> ah, James Bond Jr. has hella parallax. Really does here. Do I gotta go down the hole? Okay. Let's be real. Has anyone played James Bond Jr.? <laughs> Oh, it's a big dude! I have a big dude there. Oh, this controller has the real arcade feel. Got it. Doing good. Who'd people say developed this? Eurocom? This mm -hmm. looks like a Eurocom game. Oh, it's already got bouncy things. God damn it, Eurocom. Yeah, where are the Teletubbies? Yeah, there's not enough Teletubbies here. They had that one guy in the intro who didn't who didn't look like anyone else. <laughs> Blab says you look more like Bob Hope Jr. <laughs> I look like uh, <laughs> the freaking Skipper from Gilligan's Island. Let's move on. Oh, James Bond Jr. So I saw we had BMF here in the audience, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Taizo recommended we play one of these games in particular if BMF was in attendance. Hey. This game may look a little bit familiar. <laughs> BMF says I know. Do you remember making this, BMF? Do you remember making this for pirate multi-cards? That was really nice of you to, to make this, for them to put it on all those pirate multi-cards. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for your work for uh, these companies. <laughs> Yeah, so occasionally they would source uh, fan-made ROM hacks, including our friend BMF here, who had his work <laughs> stolen and put on Retro Game. <laughs> this is one of the later games, so they hacked out the two-player mode, but otherwise this is, uh, this is his Blob Brothers hack of Tug Tug 2. It's a cute hack, by the way. I it is. It's really cute. Uh, apparently the pirates agreed. <laughs> mm-hmm. Some nice sprites. Uh, they were like, okay, we'll take it. Put it on there, sell it at a mall kiosk. Now the funny thing is, uh, this is not news to BMF probably, because he's seen his game on other pirate multi-cards before. I think he actually owns one of the uh, the plug-and-play consoles that plagiarized this. It's still pretty cool. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he sells this at his own job, that's right! That's... <laughs> BMF fucking bless you! <laughs> oh, what a world. So yeah, if you're a ROM hacker, you too could have your work lifted and put in pirate multi-carts. <laughs> and once funny. they're in there once, that shit perpetuates. Mm -hmm. It's just it just keeps happening. So once this is on a multi-cart, other pirates are gonna copy those multi-carts. And before you know it, the Blob Brothers are everywhere. <laughs> Good. I'm glad you got to see that. <laughs> Oh, thank you for linking to the original download page, BMF. Yeah, you, you can play that for free. Yeah, get straight from the source. <laughs> you don't need to buy a uh, pirate multi-cart. Still pretty cool. Way to go, BMF. Let's go to Dream World. Oh. I know what this is. I've seen that effect before. Uh, we covered this on Mascot Friday. Anyone fancy a guess? Oh, I think I know this. Uh-huh. Oh. Kickmaster, you got it. Mm -hmm. This is totally Kickmaster. One of the later and rarer Taito games for the NES. Uh, this looks kind of like the original. They changed the background from blue to purple. The icons are different. I love your 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 face there. Oh man! See, the thing is, the more familiar you are with these games, the more painful they are because I recognize this music. It has a lot of the same tempo and same parts to it, I guess? Except they kind of fucked with it and just made it unrecognizable. And now it's just kind of tuneless. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Sure do. So think of how much money you're saving by buying this thing. Kickmaster is a hundred dollar game. Uh, freaking those Kunio Kun games, those aren't cheap either. You got your scat. A little bit of something for everyone. This is 
I was gonna say there is a there is a pretty wide variety of games, and these aren't games you usually see on uh, these bootleg plug and plays either. They're not like Map or Zero bullshit. Oh, there they are. Cool cap. Thanks. Yeah, that's that's the value in this. These hacks again were created in the early two thousands, but they hadn't been seen since. Because unlike with whatever with other games, for whatever reason, those games just didn't pl proliferate across other pirate multi cards. That's a hard phrase to say. Now I just gotta figure out if you can dump these things. I have a feeling if it's like other pirate multi carts, it has uh, glop top ROMs, which will make it very difficult to dump. Mm -hmm. I thought I saw an inside shot of it that showed a glop top, but I could be wrong. Yeah, that's most likely what they did. They don't want to spring for ROM chips. Mm -hmm. Just use epoxy. Everyone loves it. Okay, I like that weird enemy up there. It's like yeah, a bird guy. That's the witch. Those guys are from Snow Brothers! Oh, they are! Look at that! Totally lifted from Snow Brothers. You might think of this as a uh, NES remix. <laughs> it's just kind of putting a bunch of NES game characters in a blender and seeing what comes out. Got him. Got another orb. This looks like he's wearing a, a helmet. Bicycle helmet. Okay, don't steal my password. Alright. I like Kickmaster. That was pretty alright. I like your cool hat. Oh, right. Orb. orb Sorry, yeah. SGDQ is over. I've, uh... You forgot about I've stopped orb. looking for orbs. So who wants to hear a Woody story? Danny. This is licensed by Nuhuden. This is a story of a kid who ran away from home. Who's now in Woody's story. Oh, I don't like that thing up there with the, the, the legs. Oh yeah, it's just a beehive with legs. That's terrifying. A say, huh? Jungle Book, you got it. Copyright 2002, wow. <laughs> All right. This game was released on NES. Okay, come on, you didn't even try with that. <laughs> That's just... This was one of the later PAL-only releases for NES. But if you want an NTSC copy, here it is. Uh, it looks a little bit different. Oops. How is that supposed to be Woody? It's Woody. That's well, you not... see, he's in the woods. It's a Woody adventure. I guess. At least he's got pants on. Oh, dude, look at that animation. I'm gonna swing on that vine again. Look at this. Fucking jeez. Do the over-animated shuffle. My favorite is you can see, like, one or two, like, garbage pixels they forgot to clean out sometimes. Like, just <laughs> yeah. kind of poking around you. O occasionally it's still Mowgli, yeah. Mm hmm Again, never played much of this one, but if you're looking for NTSC Jungle Book with really messed up colors and none of the characters you're familiar with, uh, this is the game for you. I'm not an expert at the Jungle Book. I'm more of a kickmaster. What do you think of the Jungle Book? I wish... I was gonna say, I wish the Jungle Book was a real book I could kick, but it is a real book. It oh is... man, I missed another orb! Oh, it did come out in the US? Man, it must have been a really late release then. Yeah, one of the very last games released in the U.S. Wow. Okay, so, we're through the first two pages. Next game is Fairy, which Taizo told me to wait at the title screen because apparently it has an intro. Fairy. Let's see who can guess the game. Uh... I'm a secret agent. I'll go to perform an arduous mission. Only vehicle is a test student at Hobgoblin! What?! I can select a different bullet when I'm fighting, and I can enter cave many cave. Oh God! Sorry. Oh God! Jeez. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, now he's freaked out. He concentrated his strength. Anyway, I don't think I can obtrusive. I am looking for the opportunity. He looks like Elf Quest. God bless me. God bless me. I say that every day. Yep, this is Blaster Master, aka Metafight, and they didn't change the intro music, so. Let's go. 
God bless me. Yeah, you can still hear the tank take off in the background. This is a weird edit about the music, right? Yeah. This is like, fuck. Like, you see what I mean? It keeps the structure and tempo and the rhythms, but it just, it changes the notes. And it makes it sound really weird and off-brand. I don't also, know. look at your tank, it's like a turtle! Yeah. It's a fucked up turtle man! I'm just fascinated with the music because the vast majority of pirates don't care. They'll just leave the music as is. But, for whatever reason, they redid the music, redid all the graphics. Okay, this one, I like Blaster Master, so I might play this a little bit. Okay. I want to see just how much they changed. So you're fighting weird little turnip enemies. That's different. This fucking music! Yeah. I was watching Arcus play this just earlier. Uh, I should give him this version. No! <laughs> Trace Bullet calling this music uh, upside down. It feels like that. Pretty much, and... yeah. It's just kind of been shaken up. Some of the sound effects are still the same. In fact, all of them. It's just the music. Oh, look at me! Yeah, I don't think this is a hardware thing. I think that maybe this is the ROM. What? What's it doing? The, the audio. I think that the weird music is due to the the hacking. Oh no, they the totally hardware. edited it. This is, this is not bad emulation. This is something the pirates edited in an attempt to uh, sneak one by us. Oh, look at him now. He's got little... he's got ears. Aww. Yeah, What's... Codeman mentions that they definitely did change the note values in the ROM. That makes sense. Yeah, not the music itself, not the rhythms, just, you know, change every note. No one will notice. I'm curious if they change the bosses, because those are really big sprites. Yes, my favorite game from childhood. Mastar... Blast man. You mean fairy. Fairy, yeah, fairy. Sorry. Honestly, I think fairy's a better name for Blaster Master. Yeah, why not? Alright, some of these enemies they didn't change. That enemy they didn't change. Speedrun strats. Just taking damage? Yeah. Okay, what is that enemy from? That giant head? That's from Blaster Master. Oh, well, there you go. They just didn't change it. I, they didn't change this. Would you? Didn't change the music either. Got him. How are you doing that on that controller? Very carefully. Oh. <laughs> so it looks like they kind of stopped right around the first boss. I have a theory. Let's go to level two. How much you want to bet that they just called it a day, took an early day home, and just said, ship it? I bet level two is exactly the same. Uh, does the pause glitch still work? Oh, good question. Um, you can't do that on the first boss, only okay. the second boss. I'm willing to bet it does. No real reason why it shouldn't. Where'd you go? Look at this little hobgoblin. I'm in an iridescent hobgoblin, or whatever he said. What a strange thing to say. I mean... He is pretty goblin-esque. Yeah. That enemy's the same. Okay, I bet you anything, we're gonna go to level 2, and it's just gonna be the level 2 music and all the graphics from Blaster Master. That was nice. Yep. Mm-hmm. Palette's different, everything else is the same. Yeah, the music is just Blaster Master music now. So, there you go, that was their M.O. To change the games just enough where people wouldn't notice at a glance. Not like they had to worry much about Blaster Master, I don't think Sunsoft's gonna, gone after any uh, plug-and-play creators. But still, better safe than sorry. Blaster Master's cool. It's very cool. I am pro Blaster Master. Blaster Master, Metafight, Fairy, whatever you want to call it, I like it. Happy Angel! Legend. Okay.
I like the uh, I like the the trans gradient there. Happy it looks like it says, says happy anger. Happy anger says trans right. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! They look like a Teletubby. Oh, yes, no. please be a Teletubby. God help me! I am on my hands and knees begging for this to be a Teletubby. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> what kind of no mass loser is that? Oh, that's Babs. Okay. I'm Montana Max. Someone stole my nose. <laughs> What's that? That little gnome fuck. Get out of here. Go back. It's a Teletubby. Yes. Yes. It's never not a Teletubby. I'm so happy. Hey, you need a you need a video game character? Put a Teletubby in it. Problem solved. What they do to the music? Oh God. <laughs> the music is, it seems like it's from a different level, but. Yeah, this is the bonus room music. Okay, so they didn't redo the music, they just reshifted it around. And they changed the carrots to mushrooms. What did I get? What is that icon? What is that icon? I, I Why would know. you do that? Okay, it is a forest level music. Okay, okay. All right, well, they keep the rat enemies, but they changed the palette, and we're now a Teletubby, of course, because that's how that works. Uh, I see, they changed the star, which gives you an extra hit to a, uh... Oh, God! Look at... Watch my head. Check it out. Boom! Ah! Big head. You <laughs> like how when you pause, you go into big head mode. I have the power to inflate my own head. It's more useful than you think. Oh god, having to hold the A button and push B to jump is the Aww. worst. Where's the dodo? Wait, is that the sound? They do, but it's so quiet! Dope, dope. Hmm. Well, that's Tiny Toon Adventures. I mean, Teletubby Adventures. It's still a good game. They didn't mess with the level layouts. They just reshuffled the music, redid the palettes, and added Teletubbies, as you do. Of course. Rip. I love video games. <laughs> this, this is, uh, I live for this shit, for real. You know, how in, you know how in Triple X, Xander Cage, like, he says, <laughs> I live for this shit in regards to bungee jumping? I live for this shit. I live for inclement trip. Okay, what the fuck is this? Also, what pride flag is this? <laughs> I think this is for when you're... So I think this is my pride flag for the dipshit queers. <laughs> Got more power to you. Dipshit queer pride. Mm -hmm. In 2002. Space was swirling around us. Oh, that's it. I'm seeing Super Spy Hunter from chat. T really? Good fucking guess. Holy shit. I would not have been able to tell just from the title screen, but there you go. Yep, once again, another Sunsoft game. So the people who picked these games, they knew their stuff. There's some actual really good games in here. Super Spy Hunter is, uh, you, you need the US version if you want this game. There was a Japanese release called Battle Circuit, I think? And that is a very rare and expensive game. It's one of the rarest Famicom games. Uh, here in the U.S., Super Spy Hunter will set you back like ten bucks. It's also real hard. Rip. And the palette's messed up. And it's inclement. It's an inclement trip. Battle formula, that's what it is. Yeah, don't get battle formula, that's way too expensive. It looked like you were just, like, luging with your, like, head first down the street. Just like a dead body, like, <laughs> weak at Bernie style. Just zooming down. That's what I call inclement. <laughs> Raider. This is another game with an intro we apparently have to see. Okay. How do you like the Raiders this year? What do you think of their chances? Um, I think they're going to do really good with the football, but I also think that looks like the Gatorade logo. Okay. Which I'm a big fan of. Wait, I think... Is this Saint Seiya? Is it? I don't know. I... It's pretty. I uh, hear uh, Roller Games, Roller Games, Strider, Raiderdale, Raiderade. Oh, God. Jeez. This 
this is Saint Seiya, I'm assuming. This is totally Saint Seiya, what the hell? Why? Wait for me, I've got a dress! Oh shit! <laughs> he just fucking speared her! How are you? Poor Aya. I- oh god. <laughs> Not again! The, this speech. is the author speaking. <laughs> Man, this is some author just inserting themselves into the story. Rescuing it? Okay. They must pass many toll gates. Stupid toll gates. And conquered enemies. They make you get that sticker you gotta put on your windshield. Oh god. You think they like have to put it on top of their, like, Seiya helmets or something? I think so. I'm not afraid. I'm in dream. Dear yeah. Pika, thank you. You need it, Chin Chin. Excuse me? What? <laughs> Chin Chin? Chin Chin? Really? Yeah. Chin Chin. Mm. Yeah, nice, Chin Chin! Nope. Okay, anyway. Let's go. Yeah, this is definitely Saint Seiya for whatever reason. Oh, nice! Uh, yeah, this is this is a, a Tosei game that was never released here in the States, so this is an exclusive English translation. This oh. guy has belief and courage. Let's pick him. I said let's pick him. There. Oh, this is totally that horrible Saint Seiya game. I'm glad all the other, uh, all, everyone else was, uh, enamored with Dumb, because I, I am, I am, I am her. <laughs> yeah, this is a weird platformer slash adventure game, where... Actually, I think this was on an episode of Game Center CX, wasn't it? So if you want to see that game, just, just watch that episode. This game is very painful. Don't play it. Still, for it to be in English, that's something. I have a feeling they didn't really translate any of what you need to know, though. Uh oh. Go. What do I have in my head? Uh, I'm assuming that's like another Teletubby or something. I'm probably a Teletubby, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Tom Berry mentions there were two Saint Seiya games. This is the... Uh, second Japanese exclusive. Hmm, okay. First one of these games got a French PAL release. You're foolish if you challenge me. That's right, it was exclusively released in Japan and France. You should leave had better! <laughs> France is pretty big on their Saint Seiya. Are. France gets all the Saint Seiya and Dragon Ball games we don't get. Too absurd! No, no, now unallowed! I'll cooperate with him. Oh, that's that's too absurd. Damn it. Data too absurd. Do not show me the data. No, nah, it's unallowed. <laughs> yeah, Saint Seiya was a. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was big in uh, Mexico, Central, and South America too. Look, I can't. I think you can't win me forever. I know it was on. Uh, God, it's either Telemundo <laughs> or Univision. You don't repent. Good. Oh, good. I... <laughs> I got Mickey Mouse ears. I love them. They got heels, too. Mickey looking good. Yeah. Mickey is an icon. So if you like your Saint Seiya, uh, this is Saint Seiya like you've never seen it before. I'm really curious to see what the dialogue is like for the whole game, but God knows I'm not going to play through the whole thing. Maybe some brave person can document this someday, mm -hmm. once this ROM's dumped. That brave person is not me. I did not repent. Good. Good. Don't repent. I guess we're like the anti- Where was Rat Cop? Where was he? They were accusing your character of being Rat okay. Cop. I don't think they were. I, I don't think so. I yeah. think it was more Mickey Mouse. Is, uh, Revenant says it's a redesign of Chuck E. Cheese. Roscar. Super. Jake Saga. Ooh, the Jake Saga. <laughs> <laughs> they say Y2K! They it's say... Like the, it's that's... like... It's a... Da, ba, 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 well, there you go. Da, da, um, da, 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 tying it back. Previously, previously, I streamed a, as far as I know, one-of-a-kind multi-cart called Y2K Teletubbies uh, 420 and 1. And here are the Teletubbies again with Y2K emblazoned all over. Best cavemen? 
<laughs> well, that, that means this has to be Joe and Mac. Joe and Mac! But the Teletubbies. Why, why 2K? <laughs> Uh-huh. This is going somewhere. Yeah, Teletubby wearing a Y2K shirt is definitely the, the sign of the beast. Mm -hmm. It's one player. Yeah, but oh my god, look what they did. So first of all, they made a Mario hack of Joe and Mac years ago. It was released in Russia. And then they took that hack and added a Teletubby head on top of the Mario sprite. So this is like double hacked. That is incredible. Uh, that, that Joe and Mac with Mario hack is best known because there was some Russian TV show that reviewed Dendi games, and they, ah! and oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna try to move on. Okay, so that get, they okay. reviewed Dendi okay. games and they reviewed the Mario hack first, and then they reviewed the original Joe and Mac and they accused that game of being a ripoff of the Mario game that they played before. That's the point I was trying to make, and instead my Teletubby just like erupted into gore. Yeah, it looked like his yeah his skin's come off. Okay, well that's good. Mm -hmm. I'm glad for that. Uh, welcome, Tiki. We are we're playing wrong. <laughs> we're playing we're playing retro game. My favorite. Let's just keep the dinosaur. I wonder. Ah! Oh, that's not a dinosaur. That is not a dinosaur. That's oh no, we've opened we've opened a gate somewhere. This is Hell's Gate, thanks. This, the, some other dimension. A dimension full of bad things. Why did they change the dinosaur? Why do they have to turn it into a hell worm? Listen, it's it's not a hell worm, it is a brain eating amoeba. Thank you. Mom. Well now I'm gore. And now I'm dead. Oh. Wait, I died? I think you did. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, that's normal. Just just normal games. Normal games for normal folks. Normal retro games. Wow. I'm not going to forget that gory Teletubby anytime soon. Soldier Boy. Hey, he tried to get into the plug and play market lately. <laughs> Nintendo ain't going to do shit, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Well, soldier boy, you've been recruited. You've been recruited into the wacky races. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Welcome. He's the wacky race. <laughs> soldier boy. Wow. He looks like. He looks different. Is that it? So this is a wacky races game. Uh, normally, you're supposed to play as Muttley the dog. The dog who who laughs. That's his thing. Is that Banana Prince? Who is this? Is it? Okay, now he has a fireball instead of, instead of saying the word Bow Wow. So they changed things a little bit. We played this game on Mascot Friday. It's good. Yeah, this, this is a decent game. Wacky Races is a, is a fun game. I'm this, pretty sure... Uh... This hack is pretty bizarre, though. Yeah. Whoop on Whoop uh, runs this game, yeah? I think so, yeah. She hasn't played it in a while, though. Get back on that speedrunning train. Mm -hmm. Speedrun this instead. Yeah, speedrun Soldier Boy. Don't speedrun Wacky Races. Be the only person to run Soldier Boy. <laughs> run it on the original fucking horrible... Uh, yeah, that would be a... The joystick here. That would be an accomplishment. I'm so glad I'm not gonna be able to... I'm not gonna be playing this much more. Yeah, otherwise this looks mostly unchanged. I think they changed the music. And of course the main character. Mm -hmm. But hey, Soldier Boy's in it now. I'm glad he finally got into the pirate market like he's been trying to. Mm-hmm. How bizarre. Well, let's move on. Good work, Soldier Boy. Glad you could finally get your work out there somehow. Mm -hmm. Don't let Nintendo get you down. Never. What's next? Space Soldier. Oh, okay. straight from 2001. Okay. I do like this, the cool slime. Big fan. That is cool slime. Is there an intro? 
Oh, I know what this is. What the fuck is this? Any guesses? Uh, Bucky O'Hare. Bucky O'Hare, you got it. Yeah, we've already seen some sprites from Bucky O'Hare, but now here's the original game. Uh, not quite as you know it. A man called Roll Drive It. Performing a arduous mission. This is like the third thing that's been described as arduous. <laughs> Someone got a thesaurus and they went wild. <laughs> Weirdies. Weirdies. That's everyone in chat. You talking about us? Mm-hmm. Oh man. Oh. Who are? Oh <laughs> man. Why? 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 Why does he have face wounds? And why is his name the cock? And why does it say he should egg walk? Question one: Why is this a recurring character across multiple pirate games? Question two: Why is he named the cock? That's really all the questions I have. Okay, Bucky looks different. Looks a little different. Hey, don't fear me. I, uh, do not fear me. And hey, this is another one of those $100 NES games. Uh, this is maybe a little bit different from what you're expecting, though, if you want to play Bucky O'Hare. I see it as an improvement. Because why have... why have a regular-ass character when you can have... the cock? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and roll. Wait a minute. Did I die in one hit? Yeah. Oh my god, do you know what they did? Huh. Some of you hackers in the audience can tell me what happened here. Yeah, this game's normally supposed to have a life meter. You see it at the bottom of the screen and yet it instantly drains. So this game has copy protection, and if you set it off, it automatically sets it into one-hit kill mode. Uh, it's available as an option through a password in the US version, but otherwise, this was something Konami did to curb uh, people pirating their games. Yeah, I see your power meter just continually trying to tick up and then tick right back down. Mm-hmm, it just drops. Yeah, they did something similar for uh, Yume Penguin Monogatari, where they made uh, the timer really short if it's a pirated game. So, way to go, pirates! You set off the anti-piracy protection and made the game impossible. Hey, I guess anti-piracy protection works! It works! The system works. Everyone, say thanks to DRM. Thank you, DRM. Thank you, DRM. Thanks for keeping us safe. Mm -hmm. Thank you for making Bucky O'Hare impossible. Jesus Christ. Well, at least it gives you 20 lives. 20 lives to just constantly die. 20 lives to waste as you see fit. Well, we're getting pretty close to the end of our lineup of, uh... the first 28 games, which are the most remarkable hacks. You like Star Wars? Yeah! I hope this has all my favorite characters in it, like Chewie and Han and... You know, I hear they're gonna reveal who Rey's parents are in this one. Let's find out. Okay. In a vast universe far away, there's a peaceful nation consisting of seven planets orbiting an art around an artificial sun. This text is too lucid. I bet they, they stole it straight from the original game. It's Gunnack. Oh, Gunnack! Sweet! What is this? Just a compilation? What? <laughs> is that from the original game? Gunnack is pretty silly, so I wouldn't I wouldn't doubt that, but still. Yeah, it's from the original game. Okay, good. Yeah, Gunnack is a very silly shooter that involves a lot of animal people. Uh, Codeman asks you to check the options menu to see if they left the title in. Okay. Let's do that. Yep, there it is, the code name of Gunnack. <laughs> it's weird how they changed all the text in Bucky O'Hare, and for this, just like, whatever. They're like, eh, it's Gunnack. No, it's Star Wars. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think Disney's gonna get mad at us. Uh, yeah, it's Gunnack. Yeah, it's the Gunnack control room. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. Welcome. You can have four bombs for free. Thank you to I asked for the resub. They say, God bless our compiled bootlegs. <laughs> yeah, thank you. So yeah, this is the follow-up to Zanak, the much later and much rarer sequel. Again, this is another game that normally goes for over a hundred bucks. So if you can tolerate the changed graphics and fucked up music, and the fact that the controls are awful, uh, maybe this is an option. I like Gunnack. Yeah, Chat's a big Gunnack fan too. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, it's got that compile feel to it. Mm -hmm. The music is kind of cutting in and out. I think they didn't change the music, they just kind of removed some of it. You, like, took away a few notes? Yeah. Should we add some notes but to boss? Nah. No, don't replace those notes. It's a late night. Let's go on home. It's a waste of energy. Alright, you got your gun ack. You got your kickmaster. Man. Uh is this in the okay, it's in the Xanak universe. Xanak universe, but is it in the Xanax universe? <laughs> Did they it. take Xanax and Xanak? Alright, what's next? Storm one. Wow, there's a lot of supers coming up here. Hope you didn't even change that! Oh, come on. Crazy. You didn't even try. Did they change anything here except the title screen? Storm 1. Look at that bunny rabbit. Well, they added a bunny head. And they changed him into Buster Bunny. <laughs> Buster Bunny is stoned as shit! He sure is. He thinks he's Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. There's our thumbnail right there. <laughs> When I was a young man, a young bunny. Buster Mexico. Bunny, I didn't know you were in the Mexican Civil War. I didn't know you met Pancho Villa. <laughs> oh, Buster Bunny, quite the Renaissance man. Okay, if, 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 if Buster Bunny helps Pancho Villa, that would rule. No, come on! No, boo! Man, this music really sucks now. Me. Me, Eco. <laughs> oh man, it's Buster Bunny Castlevania. Just what I always wanted. Oh my god. Oh, oh boy. Okay, let's try that again. I was not ready for that. So they didn't change the startup screen, which clearly says this is Indiana Jones. And yet... But they did change Indiana Jones to fucking... To the most bizarre Buster Bunny I've ever seen. Like, I wish they would have gone with a Teletubby. That would make more sense. Stoned Buster Bunny is now our, our stream mascot. I I, I'm okay with that. He seems like he knows what he wants from life. I was on my way to Mexico. Off to get some of that weed drug I like. <laughs> And hey, wouldn't you know it, I just ran into Pancho Villa. He told me to stop smoking all his weed, and I said no. I need this for myself. <laughs> this is just weird. This is, yeah. God, that's bizarre. Thank you for the clip, Uzi. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta preserve that stoned Buster Bunny who thinks he's Indiana Jones. Maybe he is, you don't know that. He got so high he called the cops and said, I think I'm Indiana Jones, I got too high. <laughs> So we got Superboy, Super Chap, and Superman to close out the 28 games that comprise the uh, elaborate ROM hacks. <laughs> the Super Trilogy here. Let's start with Superboy. You gotta be a Superboy before you can be a Super Chap, and you gotta mm -hmm. be a Super Chap before you can be a Superman. Okay. Well, this is pretty clear. It's Bill Clinton's adventure. <laughs> He's got sunglasses on. Oh yeah. What's that thing on top of the tree? A propeller? I, I think so. So this is Adventure Island 2? It's, it's the Wind of Island! Superboy. Yeah, I'm gonna say 2. It's either 2 or 3. 3, I'm seeing. Okay, it's 3 then. Alright, you get wrenches instead of axes, and you open up toolboxes instead of eggs. So are you like Tim Allen? I guess so. Barefoot Tim Allen running around on an island. Superboy Tim Allen. Ah. Tim Allen found a bonus stage. <laughs> okay, so I haven't played much Adventure Island 3. Oh yeah, here we go. Look at him wiggle those arms. I guess I love that you're just throwing wrenches and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you gotta use what you have. Alright, so music changed. It looks like the enemy sprites are changed as well. They put more effort into this one. 
ってた Onto the cave. You're not gonna select an arm? I already had it selected. Fair. I just thought that, like, you know, you can get, like, a third one. Like, coming out of your stomach or something. <laughs> like an upgrade, yeah. Mm -hmm. Add a third arm. Add a fourth arm. Why not? Hell, add, like, 20 more arms. Just... Become they, the girl you wish to see in the world. They call me the arms dealer. <laughs> yeah, so instead of dinosaurs, it looks like you ride on... I'm not really sure what that is. It's got a cool eye. Yeah? It's some kind of machinery. Oh, I hate when it shoots. Its eye pops out like, ugh. Yeah, that's bizarre. It bulges. So in terms of hacks on this thing, it's pretty thorough. Oh, look at that! Look at glasses animation! That's a neat little detail. That's cute as hell. They didn't have to do that. I love it. It's like the first good animation I've seen. It's Adventure Island. Only you're a cool kid with sunglasses. It works for me. So we've been a super boy. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to upgrade. Alex, I bestow upon you the title of Super Chap. I am so blessed. I am. I have never been uh, British before, but it feels wonderful. Super Chap. Oh, I like that gradient. I don't know about the skulls, though. <laughs> yeah, we're the retro chaps. So who knows this game? I know it already. I have no idea. The, uh... Spider-Man! Oh, Spider you got it! <laughs> Spider-Man vs. the Sinister Six, a truly terrible game for NES. Made by LJN, of course. And what do we look like? Are we a Teletubby? Uh, listen to these cool beats for a minute here. Oh, here we are! Oh, wow, we look really different! Look at this. So they redid the Spider-Man sprite, the backgrounds, the enemies, really everything. What is he? This is pretty remarkable. Yeah, if you know the original game, you'll know that uh, the backgrounds are really drab and lacking detail. You'll also know this game reverses the controls, so now the controls are correct for me. <laughs> A jumps and B fires. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thanks, LJN. Okay, yeah, that is the... Uh, you know I had to do it to him, guy. Oh, it is! I'm happy he's got some more work. I'm glad he got out of prison. What?! I don't know what he was in for, but he went to jail for a while. Ah, damn. Well, I'm glad he's out, too. Well, you know, they had to do it to him. Danny. Oh, this game's terrible. This was in a, uh... Look at him. This was in a Big Ten race here on Twitch, and a lot of people had to practice this for weeks on end. I watched a lot of people people play this terrible game. And having Spider-Man look like a big-headed anime kid does not help things. Look at him! Whoa, those cats got guns! Yeah. That's like my worst nightmare. <laughs> Cat with a gun. Could you imagine? I would never want Tess any access to weaponry. No. Guns, knives, slings. Uh, God almighty, if she knew how to work a sling, we were fucked. <laughs> no, really, feed me. She's like, she already wakes me up in the morning by, like, pawing at my face. Imagine if she had some kind of projectile. <laughs> God, even a Nerf gun would be awful. This fires her gun walking into the room. It's breakfast time! I mean, you're not wrong, Blab. The cats have knives in their hands. That is but... true. They have a lot of little knives. Oh, they sure do. I just want to see what Electro looks like. See if we can get to him. I hope Electro's a cat. I hope so too. Let's see, I think he's in here somewhere. Okay, Electro Boogaloo mentions this was developed by Bit Studio, who also did the Game Boy versions of R Type as well as Kemko's Rogoff. It's Mickey Mouse. Oh my god, it's that weird Mickey Sprite! Come on, do your thing again. Turn into Mickey Mouse. There, yeah, there I he love is. it. Just a completely non-caring, non-committal Mickey Mouse flying around on his hoverboard. Chat's like, hit the switch. But you already did that, I think. Yeah. Oh, believe me, I've seen this game. 
I don't like knowing how to play this game, but I absorbed that knowledge somehow. The Codeman mentions that both Bits and Sculptured uh, made heavy use of the deluxe of deluxe paint and the uh, font similarities and stuff. Mmm, okay. But those guys were good at pumping out licensed games. Ah, oh, the controls are so bad. You have to hold the attack button to punch, otherwise you do a weird lunging kick. He's like, well, hey kids, I'm, uh, I own you now, Spider-Man. <laughs> I own all your rights. Yeah, yeah, Cuba, it's, uh, it's very prescient. Those pirates, they can see the future. Mm -hmm. They're like, Disney's gonna own everything, we might as well pirate now. It's like, oh, get in the Disney ball. And just shock you all the way to Disney Plus. Give me, give, quit going outside, quit going out of bounds. Please, Mickey. Mickey. Imagine trying to speedrun this. <laughs> I just... Mickey is just... Got him. I blew him up. Good work, Spider-Man. Thanks, Spidey. I mean, super chap. Disney mentions that if Disney buys Teletubbies, then they can release this officially. That's true. Whoa, they could. Make it happen, Disney. Disney, think about it. Put the X-Men in there, too, while you're at it. Let the X-Men and the Teletubbies meet. Wait, does your character have pants on? Do they? Oh like, my god. They run. They don't. He has a shirt, but no pants. Who do you think you are, Bubsy? This is disgusting. Alright, so this level, they didn't bother changing the background or anything. Some of the enemies look like they're changed. Otherwise, whatever. Why this game? You put in Gunnack, you put in Bucky O'Hare, and then you put this in. Don't like it. I don't approve. Anyway, the final game of the Batch of 28, the Cursed Batch, I like to call it. It's Superman. We get to be Superman now. Do you think it's going to be Superman, or do you think they're going to like hack Superman into like Tiny Toons or something? So there's a few possibilities, right? There's that Superman NES game. Uh, there's Sunsoft Sunman, which was mm -hmm. unreleased. They've uh, done a lot of Sunsoft games already, so I'm hoping that's what this is. Let's find out. <laughs> Druid? Or David? Super Superman. What is any of this? Stir Druid. Oh no. <laughs> it's fucking Altered Beast. And you're a ninja! And I'm a ninja kicking ostriches. And oh man, come on, redraw that. That doesn't look right. And uh, yes, Hurry Burry is on this, and we have played Hurry Burry before. Mm -hmm. I'll go through a few of the games after this to show you that uh, they're basically. Just games that were on other multi-carts already. So you may be familiar with them. What a... are these guys? I don't know. Why did they change this game to make it less fantastical? <laughs> oh, now I'm a wolf. Yeah, Famicom Altered Beast is not good. Only released in Japan. Uh, the characters are real small. They did add a couple of exclusive levels, and they even add ex exclusive transformations, believe it or not. I think it lets you be a shark in one of the levels. Okay, that's cool. Otherwise, though, you don't you don't want this version. Mm -mm. I'm just curious what the boss looks like. I think it's another animal, or...? It's this guy. The fuck is that? No, oh, no, they didn't change him. So they just made him green? Yeah, they just made him green. Cool, so he's like, sick. I gotta have Altered Beast. I mean, come on. Apparently one of the characters walking around was the Hulk. <laughs> I love pirate multi-carts. Just throwing anyone at any time doesn't have to make any kind of sense. It can be licensed, non-licensed. Just change it, put it in there. Cool Orb. Oh yeah, Orb. Orb. Good oh, orb. I'm just a regular ninja now. Ooh. What the fuck is that? I don't know. This is one of the exclusive levels. This game's weird and bad. So there you go. The the infamous twenty eight. 
these elaborate hacks that have not been seen since the early 2000s, many of which were never seen again after they initially appeared on multi-carts. All of them are here on Retro Game, inexplicably. I don't know why, I don't know how that came to be, but if you want a complete collection of these elaborate hacks made by General Sao, or Teacher Sao, whatever his name was, that's your only option. But let's see what else they got on here. Are there any games in particular that Taizo mentioned we should look at? Yeah, actually, let me look that up. Also, again, shout out to Taizo Hori for uh, doing, giving us a lot of info, a lot of uh, research info and stuff like that. Thank you very much. What is, what is their address again? What is their website? Oh, they run a site called Neo Fuji, I think. Okay. If anyone wants to link that, that would be helpful. Yeah, let me, get, let me grab that. There's a game called Difference. Okay, Taizo recommends game number 55, Sky Dreamer, which is a nice code mascot platformer with lots of cute graphical touches courtesy of their graphic artist, Joni. Hey, we've seen Joni. Joni has uh, inserted themselves into a few of these games. Let's play it. I like mascot platformers. Oh, it's two players. Hey, yeah, let's do it. Still looking for Tyson's website, I thought it was here. Right, let's do it. Two player. Alright, it's not simultaneous. So this is an original platformer from a pirate original publisher and developer by the name of Nice Code. I'm sure there's people in chat who know more about Nice Code than I do but they both did a lot of pirated works as well as original stuff like this. Look at this. There's a lady in a bathtub, some windmills. This is really cute, I like this art. This is the cutest thing. Sort of reminds me of uh, Buzz and Waldog. It reminds me of Wacky on Land a little bit. A little bit, yeah, it's got that flat shaded look to it. Also, Taizo's website, thank you BMF, Taizo's website is 12bit.club. So yes, thank 12 you. 12bit.club. Yeah, Taizo is a font of information on bootleg games. Yeah. Uh, a lot of stuff we would not know or have documented if not for him, so thank you, Taizo. Mm -hmm. And thanks once again for pointing me toward Retro Game. Here we have the TV station. And yes, uh, Ultimo is linking to the Bootleg Games wiki. Definitely check that out, it's great wiki. That too, yeah. A lot of great information out there. Also, Codeman, who I know definitely knows about bootleg games, mentions that Nice Code did a lot of the 9 bit games on the Urban Outfitters console. This is for you. Oh, shoot, I should play. Oh, yeah. look at me, I'm a little green. Yeah, you're green. I'm you're... Pickle Brick. <laughs> Alex. What? Well, you've ruined the whole stream. Now we have to delete it. This is cute. This game predates Pickle Rick. I think they have a lawsuit. Well, if they want to sue me, good luck. Congratulations on your zero dollars you're gonna get. <laughs> Can I run? No. I really like the backgrounds in this. No. There's just fun little details that don't have to be there, but it just felt like they wanted this to be fun. I see folks that are mad at me for telling the truth about who I look like. Fine. I'm mad at you stay for telling- Stay mad! I'll stay mad. <laughs> Scrolling's a little bit choppy, but what are you gonna do? Aw, it's a TV station! Mm-hmm. In the clouds. Go hack it! Okay. <laughs> Make a show only Retro Pals. Yeah. Only Retro pl Pals playing Retro Game. Yeah, this, these controls aren't the best. And it seems kind of janky. But it's cute, damn it! Here you go, nice code. This is indeed nice. It is nice. I love those little guys. I died again. Oh, rip. <laughs> what else is recommended here? Let's see. Number 56 is an especially ridiculous hack of Joust. Made by Cube Technology. <laughs> Let's see what this is about. Flying bomb. I hear the Joust music. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> we are penguins Eat. who turn into fish as they flap. I don't. We gotta feed these skulls. 
Oh yeah, your sprite doesn't change, but mine does. What the hell? That's bizarre. Yeah, this is definitely NES Joust. Well, I died. Developed by Satoru Iwata. Man, good job, Iwata. In fact, this hack represents his original vision for the game. Did Thanks. I kill you? Yes, you did. Oh my god, I'm sorry! Are you still alive? It's okay. I lost like three lives in like a second. That was cool. No, no, no! Who are these penguins from? God, they look familiar. Are they NES pinball uh, penguins? They kind of look like that. A little bit. That would be appropriate, because pinball's another Iwata game. Did they know? Probably not. Let me go. Oh, Binary Land, of course! Yeah, yeah, these are the Binary Land penguins. Number 58, Squeezer, is an oddly demonic hack of Sachin's World of Cars. Okay, okay, you had me at demonic. Demonic Sachin, huh? Also World of Cards, not World of Cars. That should be World of Cars. Let's see how demonic it can get. Squeezer. Okay. I like the skulls. I like the cool birds. It's penguins again. Mm-hmm. I like that motif. Are we summoning Satan? Sure taking us a while, but I guess, uh... Satan takes his sweet time. Mm-hmm. All right, Satan, any second now. Uh, this one. Wow. A world of cards. I got a little onion head by you. Why is there an onion head? In case he wants an onion. If you're hungry, just take a chunk out of your friend. Is this like Uno? I... I don't know what this is. What is this? Hearts? Cards? It's the heart of the cards. So it's Yu-Gi- yeah, it is Yu-Gi-Oh then. Trust in it. It's like bridge. Pinochle. Well, I feel my soul being sucked away, so this is definitely demonic. Mm -hmm. Number 62, Magic Joni, is the Nice Code Artist's self-insert game? Put it on! And it has an intro. Yeah, but Joni is their graphical artist. We've seen their name in several of these games, and now they have a self-insert game. I'm, I gotta look for this. Uh, good info from chat. That was a version of Hearts. I see. Good old Hearts. Magic Joni. Uh, <laughs> he's adorable! Looks like Magic Tony. What is this? What is this load runner shit? Oh, this game has an intro. Okay. Because nutrition sucked by the huge monsters. <laughs> oh, peoples were also threatened by monsters. But a little hero named Joni couldn't come up. That was too fast, but that's pretty good. That was way good. too fast, but I appreciate it. It's cute. Uh. What? It's not even Friday, and we're doing this, huh? It's too early in the week for this shit. I was gonna say this reminded me of uh, Kaneko's Berlin Wall, but the mechanics are totally different. That's odd. No one gets eaten in Berlin Wall, do they? No. Well, I mean, this game has an OC in it. I mean, it's it's adorable. I like the little horns, and I like the little helmet. I like this, uh, weird music. In the end, we're all Joni. I like that guy up there who looks like he's from that other game, but, like, with a mohawk now, and, like, big eyes. Yeah, it does have a mohawk. Huh. Hmm. Well, nice game, nice code. Nice. Good work, Joni. This is some nice code. Number 76, Conqueror Taiko, Taizo warns us is, uh, is broken, so I'm gonna play it. Alright, if it flashes, I'm gonna throw up the screen. Though. Everyone avert your eyes. Pong Pong. There's just a game called Dada. 
Whoa, cool. All right. Oh, uh, it's Circus Charlie. Oh, Conker says trans rights. Stage zero. Oh, God. No. Wow. Oof. Okay, yeah, that flashes a lot of colors, just like you said. Uh, number 95 is, an, is a half-decent shooter and an, an inventor original game. Let's play that. Okay, wait a minute. What's Good Hand? Yeah, you have to drop Good Hand. City Connection? I want to see this. <laughs> oh! Oh, man. But you're not even laying down any tracks! I'm not. Yeah, you can't even tell. Oh, wait, the color's slightly different, I think. No, wait, it isn't. No, it's not. What the hell? What the fuck? Good work, guys. You made City Connection unplayable. And it's got aliens instead of cops. That is pretty strange. Broken City Connection. Totally broken City Connection. You can't play this. Alright, where's the cat? What did they do to the cat? It doesn't show up. I'm not seeing them. Yeah, I'm not seeing them either. Did they hack the cat out? Oh, there it is. It's... Oh my god! No, I didn't yes, see that. Yes, it is! I did not yes, see that. Yes, it is! Yes, it is! Yes, it is! It was not. Yes, it was! That's just your brain playing tricks on you. <laughs> there was no... That that character was nowhere to be seen elsewhere in this multi-cart. Why would he... That's him. Well, you got one over on us, nice code. I'd love to be able to hit him, but you have to be in a specific position to do that. Kick his ass. I gotta kick his ass. Okay, here we go. There he goes! Get out of here! Fuck you, mouse cop. Abolish mouse cops. Unbelievable. That's see, amazing. See if I just stuck to Taizo's list and hadn't uh, gotten distracted. And then never known that mouse cop was in here. According to Code Man, if you do manage to beat this without the, uh, to, be to beat it, the end level screen is corrupt. Beautiful. <laughs> of course. Not cracky. Not cracky! <laughs> that guy there, he's saying, Not cracky! It's me, Not cracky! They saved the princess. Was this recommended by Taizo? No. What is this? And why are those mice so, like, they're gonna kick your ass. They're pissed. I got the princess. Uh, I don't know what game this is based on, but this is very obviously a riff on the Nutcracker. Anyone know what this is? I'm honestly at a loss. I'm not familiar with this game. This could be a pirate original. Is this a pirate? Wait is, a minute. It is reminiscent of Food Fight Arcade. This is Food Fight! It totally has the little ammunition uh, places, and the enemies pop up from holes. And you gotta get a thing at the end of the level. Wow, of all the games to rip off, Food Fight. Did not see that coming. It's food Fight with a gun. And a princess. It's a princess fight. Alright, I got distracted twice. Let's actually play the game Taizo recommended. Okay. This is another pirate original that apparently was hacked by Weixing, another uh, prominent Chinese developer of these kind of games. Apparently the original version has an intro. Unfortunately, this one does not. But it's, an, uh, it's a pirate original. Let's check it out. Oh man, it sure is. It's apparently an okay game if you can get the full version, but most multi-carts use the hacked Weixing version. I played worse. This looks okay. Yeah, it's fine. I like those little effort palm trees. I like the explosions. Mm -hmm. That's about it, though. Could be worse. The official RetroPals verdict. And finally, number 248 IQ Champion is a weird hack of the plug-and-play port of Intellivision Buzz Bombers. Holy shit. Yeah. Done under Nice Code's alternate name of Dongjin Techno. <laughs> cool. All these games sound good, but we'll have to go back here sometime. Yeah, there's a lot of games here. We may have to return to this. I'd like to. I'd like to. Presents to start. Yeah, this is Buzz Bombers, all right. Was this called, like, IQ Genius or something? Yeah. Okay. I feel smarter just playing it. That score down there is totally in television font. Oh my god, it is. Yay. 
I'm the IQ champion. Thanks, IQ champion. Okay, now, if we were to play one final game to send this off with, what would it be? Not Hurry Burry. <laughs> yeah, we've played I that before. I put my foot down, Hurry Burry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll through the menu, and the title that leaps out at us the most, that's what I'm going to play. we got to give a good send-off here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aether Kavas? Oh, I didn't show you Crypt Car. Yes, we had another thing. You have to show off Crypt Car. Crypt Car. Anyone guess what this is? It's got a classic Namco title screen. Uh, That's right, it's Dig Dug. That music! It's just out of tune, just enough. Yeah, it's Dig Dug. Except it's not Dig Dug, it's Crypt Car. Crypt Car Currency. Well, thanks, folks. Tip your weight staff. That's not good enough. No. We're not ending this stream until I find a good ending game. This could go on all night. Alex, I hope you're strapped in. Uh, was I supposed to strap in? Yeah. That, you know, that explains a lot about this chair. I thought you just really liked cars. <laughs> Utmost, Utmost warfare. warfare! Water pipe! Yeah, it's a water pipe. Yeah, it's a water pipe. Don't, don't, don't say anything else. Wow, the utmost warfare. There, there cannot be any more warfare than this. Go to the Y Star. Also, chat wants police versus thief. Let's do that. This doesn't seem very good. Yeah, this is boring. This is the utmost warfare? More it's most utmost? Honestly, I've seen more. I've uh, seen yeah. more utmost. I see recommendations for police versus thief and panda. Let's do police versus thief. Ah, uh, the classic matchup. Or violent chasing. Police versus thief, violent chasing. All right. The fuck is this? I'm the police, I think. Wee oo, wee oo. Hey, <laughs> you stop. Pull over. Pull over the car. Quit quit driving. What are you what are you doing? I gotta get the thief, I guess. This thief is one step ahead of me. Got him. Catch, Catch out. Catch out. I caught the thief. Oh, and then it just keeps going. Okay. Well, I guess that's police versus thief. That's the classic story of police versus thief. Tale as old as time, song as old as rhyme. Police versus thief. <laughs> One more. One more. Okay. Gotta do one more. I see. I saw a recommendation for Panda. Um, what else is there? Let's do Panda. Okay. Hey, I think you're trying to pull one over on me here. Mm. Let's see how this game is. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry. Should I do a Panda speed run? Let's do yes. that. Okay. Gonna get that sub five minutes in Panda. This fucking music. Is this the official Panda Express game? <laughs> do 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 do. Like I was so quietly cringing it as I was going down the flagpole. <laughs> yeah. Panda's embarrassed. That's the Panda logo. Yeah, I've never seen this one before. Seems pretty well coded. You could say it has a nice code. It really does. Damn, Panda. I like the little sprites. I love the way it closes its eyes when it jumps. Like, That's pretty ow. good. Ow! Ow, fuck oh, my head! Oh, this is gonna hurt when I hit my head! Wow, I think I discovered a shortcut. See chat calling this uh, improv, calling it a glitch core. The music. <laughs> it is improv. And it just keeps going. Do 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 boo do do boo do do do. Look at that skull. Cool skull. 
Sans is here. They want you fucking dead. Spitting out spinies. Which Classic are Sans Undertale. Totally. Oh, I can't do the running jump on this controller. <laughs> I, I almost did. But then I realized the controls were reversed. I was gonna say this port, I was gonna say this controller fucking sucks, babe. It's okay. Doop, 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 boop. Yeah, it, it, FM Tam's Party says, I can only imagine the song. It does have that algorithmically generated feel, yeah. Oh I am excited to see what Bowser looks like, honestly. All my favorite music is algorithmically generated. Mm -hmm. Gotta have those irregular bleeps and bloops, man. Oh, good jump. Thank you. Ah, the classic Underworld theme. I could just hum this all day. Let's do it. Let's beat Panda. So what what rhythm is this? Like, is this like... This is like 7 sixteenths time. Okay. Uh, normally just used by Rush. Occasionally King Crimson. I mean, this really does have a rush feel to it. I yeah. can see Getty Lee programming this game. Mm -hmm. It's all about the notes you don't hear. Mm -hmm. There sure are a lot of notes we don't hear. Shit. Apparently, oh, you're so tiny, I forgot. Fucking amazing, baby. Starman. Uh, no, this is fine. You don't need music here. You're... <laughs> the famous Starman theme. <laughs> what was with that one out of tune note? Beep. Doop, doop, burp, boop, doop, doop. All right, Code Man mentions that uh, one version of this has uh, "In the Mood" as the title music. <laughs> cool. Beautiful. Let's see you speedrunners try to speedrun Mario on this horrible thing. It is awful. Poor Danny. Like, please, please, I'm please. I'm gonna rest stretch. my hands after this. Yeah, no, no. No more video please. games yeah. for me tonight. Music? How are you supposed to. M music? It gave up. It it's gave like, up. Like, no thanks. I don't want any of that. <laughs> you had enough music. Nice. Okay. Or... Nice code. Ah! The mind games. I was trying to avoid the bullet. Okay, we can do this. This is the focus level, so they don't give me music. Go, Danny, go. Yeah, video games are cancelled uh, after this stream. Sorry, folks. If you're, mm -hmm. if you're caught playing them, uh, don't even talk to me. <laughs> this is all the gaming I can take for one day. Literally. I'm at my physical limit. Why am I doing this again? Because we <laughs> want to see what Bowser looks like. Okay, fair. Would you like me to do algorithmically generated music to help? Sure. Okay. boo doo 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 do do do, do. <laughs> Bum. Ba -dum. It's a real toe tapper. <laughs> this one, he's just a panda. Let's go ahead now. <laughs> he is gonna kill that Bowser. Okay, here we go. 8-3. The Eliminator, they call it. Oh, mm -hmm. wait, no, that's American Gladiators. That's like... Hammer Bros look normal. Yeah, I well... mean, these original characters look good. Oh, shit. That's there good. we go. Okay, good. Alright, dumbass, don't lose the Fire Flower. I mean, not a fire flower, just whatever that was. Don't use the the magical panda's ability to shoot something out of it stomach. 
I'm an incredible commentator. Hire me, ESPN. <laughs> hire me for hire me Wendy's e-gaming or whatever. <laughs> Wendy's doesn't have any esports yet. Well, no, there. That's but does, does Arby's have a cyber gaming unit? The Arby's cyber gaming unit. That's what I want it to be called. <laughs> it better be called that. Special cyber unit. Yeah, there's that creepy buzz. Uh, esports may be canceled, but cyber gaming isn't. Yeah, cyber gaming is the wave of the future. Cyber gaming is forever. Alright, here we go. 8-4. Yes, KFC does have a, a, a gaming thing, but again, it's not cyber gaming, so it doesn't- it, I don't give a shit. Yeah, it's just regular esports. Well, we left the music behind at some point. Sad to lose our constant companion music. It's real sad. I pushed the wrong button. That still worked out okay. Honestly, I'm super impressed, and I have no idea how you're doing that with that terrible controller. Hey, it's back! It's back! I found the music! <laughs> Good job, Danny! The evil Bowser kidnapped the music. I can hear it. It's getting close. Oh, it's so tuneful. Uh, no, that KFC gaming account is not a parody account, I'm sorry. No, it is real. They have actual brand deals going on. <laughs> oh, the way just he closes his eyes like, <laughs> he hates this so much! I like the squids. Shit, be careful. Don't lose your head, Danny. You got this. You got it. You can be the panda world champion. See, this is like my resume for Panda Express Esports. Oh yeah, that's his has a cyber sports league. Uh -huh. Yeah. Pretty good guys, right? At least as good as your actual food. <laughs> Are you like anti Panda Express now? I don't know. And here comes Bowser. Oh, oh my god, what, what is that? Bowser! What the fuck is that? Chat? Oh shit. Yeah, you need to I did it. You need to kill that motherfucker. You're yeah, dead, Bowser. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, the princess! Thank you, Panda. Oh. oh. You know what? Thanks for offering, Princess Panda, but I think I'm gonna pass. I think, uh, I think I'm good enough for one day. Oh, my hands hurt so much. Please but, take a break. But we did it. We did it. There's a speedrun of Panda. Panda. Uh, from Retro Game. And the music is still going, off in its own little world. It's like there's a composer right inside the cartridge just screaming to be let out. But all we can hear is do 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 boop boop do 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 Thank you for the you did it. And thank you for watching. Thank I you. think I'm gonna close this out now. So Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in the closet it goes. Goodbye, retro game. So Goodbye. there you go. That's one of the more fascinating plug and plays we've encountered recently. The the retro game. If you look on AliExpress, they have plenty of them. So shop around, pick up one for twenty bucks if you like, and in six to eight weeks you'll get an incredibly damaged package in the mail. And if you're lucky, the thing will have survived. Yeah, a lot of good games. Games never seen before, or rather that were seen once and then never again until this thing showed up like 20 years after those games were made. Real interesting stuff. I don't know why they decided to so elaborately hack these games, considering that most pirate games, you know, they just delete the copyright, delete the, the publisher name. Mm -hmm. No, they went all out. They changed level one of Blaster Master, and then they just said, that's enough, and then they went home. Yeah. So there's there's effort, and then there's also laziness that defines this thing, and I'm real glad we got it. Uh, once again, thanks to Taizo Hori for bringing this to our attention. Yeah, and let me put their uh, their website again is 12bit.club, 12 spelled 1-2, so do check that out. Yeah. They are very cool, and they do a lot of really cool research and work with preserving the bootleg games. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. Everyone so Everyone who preserves bootlegs, <laughs> you are the real heroes of July 4th. Those are who, you are the people who the fireworks are going off for. Every horrible bang that fucking sucks, that's for you. Yeah, you're going to hear a lot of explosions tomorrow. That's for you, man. That's for you. That's, that's for, all for you. That's for every, if you've ever contributed to the bootleg games <laughs> wiki, that's for you. That is for you. Bless you. 
God bless our bootleggers. So with the defeat of the evil Bowser, or whatever that was, that's the end of today's stream. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for watching. Thank We're you. Retro Pals. We do this kind of thing a lot. If you want to vote for what we play, go to patreon.com slash retropals, pitch in five bucks a month, and you'll get access to our weekly polls. This week, of course, Retro Game won. Though, maybe, depending on how the votes go, we may end up seeing the Commodore 64 pretty soon. Who knows, though? Who knows? Uh, next week, I think it's time for more arcade games. It's been too oh. long, and I've been jonesing for them. Mm -hmm. So look forward to an arcade-themed poll this week, to be determined. You'll see it pretty soon. TBD. Alex, wrap us up. I'll look for a host. Okay, we're also on YouTube at youtube.com slash retropiles. We post our... Uh... We post uh, highlights of our streams there. We post original scripted videos. We also post our podcasts there, so check that out. If uh, you want to find our podcast, we're on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, TuneIn. I think that's it. Uh, Are those I, all real? I, uh, we're also on Glombo, uh, <laughs> Dupo. Glombo? Glombo, yes. I, Glombo com. I, Everything I, is possible at Glombo com. <laughs> Uh, we're also on Twitter, too, so we're twitter.com slash RetroPilesHQ. We post when we go live there and other good stuff. And we post our Friday polls there as well. And oh, I yeah, we got a Mascot Friday coming up. Mm -hmm. um, wow, I didn't even think of it until just now. I'll come up with something. We'll figure something out. You'll see. Also. Yeah. So I think we're going to go with our friend McCall45, who has just finished up Final Fight 3. Oh, man. That's a cool game. I wish, mm -hmm. wish I could have seen that. Anyway, whatever he's going to play next, it's probably going to be good. Probably going to involve a lot of big dudes punching each other. Always good. You know how it goes. So thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. See you on Friday for Mascot Friday. And uh, yeah, that's it. Have yeah. a good evening. See ya, folks. <laughs>